welcome to the next episode of Do Yourself From House to Home. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and we do lots of fun crafting and DIYs on this channel. And today I'm so excited for a huge collab we are doing today. It is Easter Around the World and it's hosted by CJ. So we're going to be sharing some fun Easter DIYs today and I'll be sure to leave the link to CJ's channel as well as the playlist in my description box. And let's get right to it. Alrighty, for our first DIY today, we're going to be using one of these tins from the Dollar Tree that says Flowers and Garden. And I'm going to go in with some of this beautiful folk art chalk paint in the color French Linen, and I'm just going to give it a total coat. Now that it's all dry, I'm going to go in with some of this Waverly chalk paint in the color Truffle and I'm just going to start to distress the edges here on the top and the bottom. Next, I'm going to take the little paint that's left over on my paintbrush and I'm just going to go over the embossed words here that say flowers and garden and then I'll just start to distress the center a bit just with a little bit of dry brushing. Next, I cut two pieces from this Dollar Tree nautical rope and I just tied them at the base with some jute twine. And these are going to be my handles. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to hot glue them on the inside on both sides of our tin. Next I popped in some Dollar Tree floral foam and I'm going to top it with some of this Spanish moss also from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to fluff it up a bit. Alrighty, and here's how our cute little tin turned out. Next, we need something to pop inside. So I'm going to be taking six of these beautiful wooden eggs that I was very kindly sent by Woodpecker's Crafts, and I'm going to use them for a fun DIY. So first, I'm going to take three of the wooden eggs, and I'm going to stain them using this Waverly Wax Paint in the color Antique. Next, I'm going to paint the other three eggs using that same folk art chalk paint in the beautiful color French Linen. Alrighty, now that our eggs are nice and dry, I'm going to go in with a toothbrush because I want to turn these French linen eggs into speckled eggs. So I'm just going to take some of that Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle on a toothbrush and sort of just fling it. And I do want to just let you guys know this is very messy, so just be very careful if you do it. Alrighty, and next we're just going to pop our eggs into our basket. I love how they turned out. I'm loving that beautiful speckled look, as well as that Waverly wax and tea color. So, so pretty. And then we're just going to pop these in here, and it turns into a beautiful Easter basket. What do you guys think? I am loving this neutral Easter theme. 
And today's video is in part of a huge fun Easter around the world collaboration hosted by CJ and she is very kindly putting together a couple giveaways and to enter the giveaway I'm going to leave the instructions in my description box and my code word today is woodpecker. Alrighty, and we're back to our next DIY. So for our next project today, I'm going to be using this beautiful wooden Easter bunny also sent to me by Woodpecker's Crafts. So I'm going to start off by painting our bunny using the Folk Art chalk paint in the color French Linen. Here's how it looks now that it's all dry. So I'm going to be using this sign I found at Goodwill and I'm going to start off just by removing that little tag and then I'm going to pop on our bunny here because I want to turn it into a fun sign. And then I use my Silhouette Cameo 4 to print out this little decal that says Happy Easter and I'm going to place it just right here next to the bunny. Next, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to add this cute little jute twine bow on top of our little bunny here. And then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to attach our bunny to the sign. And that'll be it for this beautiful Happy Easter sign DIY. Alrighty, for our last DIY today, I'm going to be using these three wooden eggs, also by Woodpecker's Crafts. And I'm going to start off by painting one using this Waverly Wax Paint in the color Antique. Next, I'm going to paint the other two eggs using that same folk art chalk paint in the color French Linen. Next, I went ahead and applied this cute little stencil by Plaid, and it's a little bunny, and I'm going to fill it in on this little brown egg using that Folk Art French Linen Paint. And for two other eggs, I use my Scylla Cameo 4 to print out a couple of stencils that say hip and hop. And I'm just going to fill them using that Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle. Next, my husband very kindly drilled some holes on the top and bottom of each egg. And I'm going to go in with some jute twine because I want to turn this into a beautiful sort of hanging garland with the tassel on the bottom. So I went ahead and made a tassel using some jute twine. And if you'd like a full tutorial on that, I'll leave one linked at the top of the screen. So I'm using a large needle to thread our jute twine through the egg as well as a wooden bead. And I believe I ended up using about four wooden beads and I left them natural because I wanted them to have that neutral look. So I'm just going to thread them together and then tie it in the back. And then to hide the jute twine, I just thread it back through the bead at the bottom. And then I'm just gonna go one egg at a time. And 
I'll be sure to leave the links to these woodpecker crafts items in my description box along with a discount code if you guys are interested in checking them out. Alrighty, and we are finally at the top of our beautiful little hanging garland. So I went ahead and just tied a piece of jute twine through and I'm just going to feed the jute twine through a little bead and then do a knot on top of that. And there we have the top of our cute little hanging garland with a tassel. What do you guys think? I love the little bunny and the hip hop. I think it's very appropriate for Easter. And that'll be it for today's DIYs. What do you guys think of this neutral Easter theme? Please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching today's video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button i'll also leave the link to today's collab playlist in my description box so you can check out the other amazing creators and i'll leave the links to my blog my pinterest my instagram and my amazon favorite store in my description box thanks see you next time